Hello everyone, Today, today we're going to talk about kind of the generic Arduino sound sensor. As you can see, it's got three pins, positive, negative, and an output. And on the front you have this little uh, small, what's called a condenser microphone. And while you can read normal sounds from this thing, this is basically a sound intensity sensor. So it measures the intensity of any given sound. And basically what it does is when sound passes some threshold, it sends out a digital signal. More or less, this thing basically says it's loud or it's quiet, and that's all it does. It's got this little blue box on the back. This is called a potentiometer. By twisting that with a screwdriver, you can change the intensity of the sounds that it's able to detect. Uh, does it detect very soft stuff, or does it detect a snap or a clap or something? You adjust basically the volume it can detect by using that potentiometer. Again, it gives a digital output. The way to use these things are for like very simple robots or toys where you want it to react when somebody snaps or claps at it. You put the sensor on there, you have it being read, and then if somebody claps in front of that robot, you can trigger some reaction. So at the very most basic level, this thing is just a switch. When sound gets so loud, some threshold of loud, this thing says, okay, it's loud, do something. And then when it gets quiet, the sensor says, okay, it's quiet, stop doing something. It has no in-between, it does not give an analog signal out, you can't measure a sound growing, you cannot do speech recognition or anything with this. This thing only measures loud, quiet, that's all it does. Sometimes, these, these are pretty cheap sensors, uh, they're about three to five dollars, but sometimes they can be bad and they can be very difficult to work with also because they give a weird uh, digital output that, some, or that sometimes is in the form of an analog output, which is unhandy, uh, but it, it depends on what variation of the sensor there is out there. There are some that give out an analog output, some that just give out a pure digital output, so whatever sensor you get, make sure you look it up. In this case, this sensor gives off a digital output.